Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fadi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom scroll bar on your website. So first of all, I will show you how you can do that using Elementor page builder. So let's say if you want to apply this custom scroll bar on a specific page, you can do that using Elementor page builder. And then I will show you how you can apply this custom scroll bar on your whole website by applying it on your theme customizer. Like here on this website, on the right side, you can see the greenish scroll bar. If you want to apply this type of scroll bar on your whole website, then you can follow this. So let's first have a look how you can do this custom scroll bar using Elementor Page Builder. Alright, so here first I'm taking a section, I'm taking a single column structure. Actually, this is just random, you can make any type of content you want inside Elementor Page Builder. So here I'm making the content width to full width. Let's make its background color from here. So I'm setting the background color to hash 666. And also let's add some spacing. So here I'm adding third pixel of padding. Alright, now let's add some content. First here I'm adding a heading widget. Let's type here custom scroll bar. I'm making the alignment to centered. Also let's go under style tab. Here the text color. I'm making it a grayish color. C7, C7, C7. Alright, let's adjust the font size a bit. 34 pixel. And let's now apply some dummy text underneath here. I'm just applying some dummy text here, a really long text so we can see the scroll bar properly. Alright, just let's make the text color a bit lighter from here, maybe a bit off-white like this. Now let's add our custom scroll bar. If now we have a look on the right side, if we scroll down here, we can see the browser's default scroll bar on the right side. And my goal is to change this scroll bar to a custom scroll bar the way we want. Alright, let's expand the Elementor page builder and then let's now select this section. Actually, you can select anything because it will be a global styling. So no matter if you select a section or any widget or anything, we just need to apply some custom CSS. Okay, now let's open the custom CSS tab. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put the Elementor Pro purchase link in the description. If you don't have Elementor Pro already, you can get that from the description link. Now here we need to write some custom CSS code, but no worries because I already have written that custom CSS code for you. All you need to do, you need to just go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this pages link in the description. So from that page, if you scroll down a bit here, you can see custom scroll bar CSS. Just copy this CSS snippet from here and go inside Elementor page builder and now paste the CSS code here and boom here on the right side we can see our custom scroll bar to see it properly if we now just minimize the Elementor page builder on the right side here we can see our awesome gradient scroll bar now let me explain the CSS code so you can customize it the way you want first of all if you have a look here you can see inside webkit scroll bar here I have set the width to 0.9 VW you can also set that in pixel or EM or REM anything, I mean any unit, but I like to keep it in VW. So here you see I set the width to 0.9 VW. If you want, you can set it to 2 VW. You see it's now more wider, but to me it looks super weird. So here I'm setting the width to 1 VW or a bit less that was before 0.9. And then here is the background color. I set it to hash 777. So let me minimize the Elementor Builder. So here on the right side, you can see the background color of this scroll bar is hash 777. So if we change the color from 777 to any other color, for example, I'm putting here red. So here we can see the whole scroll bar color is now red. Only the thumbnail color is the gradient color. So here instead of red, I want to get back to hash 777. Alright, so this first portion, it was responsible for the design of this whole scroll bar. And here we have got the second portion. This one is responsible for the scroll bar thumbnail, this green portion. So first here have a look. Instead of this linear gradient color, if I remove everything from here and here background, I only type here background, let's say blue. Now here on the right side, we can see the blue scroll bar thumbnail color. So it's the solid blue color. So for example, if you want to keep any solid color, you can do that by using a solid color name or a solid color code. Let's see if you want to use here white color. So here instead of a blue, I'm just putting here hash FFF. Now our scroll bar thumbnail color is pure white color. 
but instead of all this i just want to get back to that linear gradient color so here you see i have set the first parameter to transparent and second parameter to a green color that's why if you have a look closely here at the top of this thumbnail we can see is the transparent color and at the bottom of this thumbnail is the solid color if you want to reverse it you can do that as well so let me expand the element of page builder so to reverse it if we just put this color code before the transparent so here i'm just cutting this code also remove the comma now let's put the color code before the transparent and let's put a comma here also let's just copy this and paste that inside the second line here now have a look here at the top right now we have got the solid color and at the bottom we have got the transparent color right now it's looking like it but personally i like the previous one so let's go back and undo this to me it looks perfect but i have shown you the way you can customize it and now if you have a close look here you can see another thing the corners of this thumbnail looks rounded that's basically here i have set the border radius to 20 pixel if you don't want these rounded corners then here you can set the border radius to 0 pixel so right now here you can see there is no rounded corners but i like the rounded corners so here i'm setting the border radius to 20 pixel and now i want to show you another thing at this moment if we hover over on this there is nothing happening if you would like to add a hover color you can do that as well so you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com again and if you scroll down a bit here you can see custom scroll bar hover css just copy this css code from here go inside elementor page builder and right after our existing code I'm hitting enter to make some space and then here just paste the CSS snippet here. So right now we can also see the green thumbnail. I mean the sidebar thumbnail. But if we now hover over on the thumbnail, you see it's becoming the blue color thumbnail. Awesome. So when you are happy with it, just click on this green update button to save your work. And another thing I want to mention here. I already have added prefixes here so it will be supported on all major browsers like Google Chrome or Safari but this custom scroll bar won't support on Mozilla Firefox so personally I like to keep the default scroll bar on Mozilla Firefox but let's say if you want to also customize your scroll bar on Mozilla Firefox as well then also I have written the code for you just go to jimfahaddigital.com here if you scroll down a bit here you can see custom scroll bar CSS for Firefox Firefox. Actually Firefox has given us a very limited number of options. They only have two properties. First they have scroll bar width and also within this scroll bar width you cannot put any pixel value like you cannot say 10 pixel 20 pixel this type of value. There is only two value available. One is the normal and another one is thin don't blame me for this because i have no options here firefox didn't provide us these options and they have provided us another option that is scroll bar color then here you can put two color the first color is for the thumbnail and the second color is for the whole scroll bar so the mozilla firefox is actually giving us these two options only so if you want to use this on firefox you can just paste this code okay let me just show you shortly you can just copy this code go inside element of page builder and write after the existing code hit enter to make some space and paste the code here so browsers like google chrome and safari will show this scroll bar that we have made previously and on the firefox they will show this scroll bar but personally i don't like these options that firefox gave us so let's remove the firefox support from here so this custom scroll bar will only be applied on google chrome and safari all these browsers and on the firefox it will show the default scroll bar design all right so when you are happy with it just click here on this green update button to save your work okay so if you want to apply this custom scroll bar on a specific page then you can do this in this way i mean using elementor page builder but let's say if you want to apply it on your whole website on all the pages then you can do that using your theme customizer so just go to your wordpress dashboard from appearance just go to the customizer no matter which theme you are using all theme has uh, these customized options all right so we are now inside the theme customizer if we now have a look on this page 
we cannot see here any custom scroll bar because we have applied the custom scroll bar only on this page so now if we want to apply this custom scroll bar css globally then from the theme customizer just click on the additional css and then inside this css field now we can just copy the css snippet from inside the elementor page builder so here i'm just copying this whole css snippet now go inside your theme customizer and then paste the css snippet here and boom on the right side we can now see the custom scroll bar but here as this page is black now on the right side this gray color scroll bar is not looking so good and you know you can customize all the colors from here so here inside webkit scroll bar the background color instead of hash 777 I wanna make it more darker so I'm putting here hash 222 yep right now it looks really great I really really like this custom scroll bar all right so when you're happy with it just click here on this publish button to save your work I hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel also place on that bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I'll upload a new video on this YouTube channel and if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com I will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial I will see you on the next video for now bye bye